Hi guys, uh, reading to all of you. Yes, guys, do you hear me? Hello. Yes, guys, can you anyone can you respond me? Just at least you, yes, you can ping me in chat group. In chat box, just you ping me. Hello guys, do you hear me? Okay, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your response. Mehar. Yeah, thank you. So let us uh, start our session. I hope everyone hear me very clearly. Okay. So let us start our session. Okay. So first of all, about myself. First of all, about myself. Yeah, this is Nageshwar Rao having 22 years of experience in software fields. 22 years of experience. Yes, my most of the experience on yes, big data and Hadoop, next Linux, next Java. Yes, apart from this, embedded C also. Yes, embedded, embedded C. This is my experience. Yes, since 22 years of experience, I worked on yes, embedded C, Linux, Java, and Big Data Hadoop. My career started in the year 1997. Yes, 1997 started with embedded C. First initially started with embedded C. Next. In the year 2000, changed to Java. Yes, 1997, started my career with Motorola company. Yes, embedded C, Motorola company. Yes, next 2000, started with Java. Career changed to Java. Next 2013, started with Big Data and Hadoop. Big Data and Hadoop. Big Data and Hadoop. Right, okay. More than 20 projects completed. Yes, more than yes, more, more than 20 projects completed. Okay. Presently, I am working as solution architect. Presently, I mean I am a solution architect. Yes, architect on Hadoop and Java projects. Java projects, Hadoop, Java, and embedded C projects are still its continuous career. Embedded C products. Okay. Yes, solution and Java, Hadoop, Java, and embedded C products. Okay. Yes, because of this Hadoop, I got a lot of experience on Linux based. Embedded C. Embedded C complete Linux based here. So, because of embedded C, my career was started with Linux based, next Linux based, next Java, Hadoop here in career. Yes, most of the times I worked in Linux based. Okay. Yes, very good experience in any case. So this is about myself. That's all about myself. Okay. Yes, present the company. Yes, even I can mention that also. Yes, Silo Tech Private Limited. Private Limited Company. This is. Okay, it's in Hyderabad. Yes, you can check in Google. It's very good company. Okay. Silo Tech Private Limited. Yes, Hyderabad. Very good company. This is. Yes, this company has branches at different locations. Like, uh, yes, in USA, we have one branch. Yes, next. Uh, UK, we have one more branch. Next, Australia, Sydney, we have one more. Next, in Chennai, also, we have one more office. We have many offices. It's a multinational company, very good company. Okay. Yes. So, this is I'm working as solution architect for this company. Presently, my clients, yes, big data. Yes, big data, big data and Hadoop projects. Yes, client, it's a default. Default is the client for this default. 
default is the ATM machines manufacturing industry. Yes, when you check for next time, ATM machines you can check it. Default is ATM machine machines manufacturing industry. It's very big company. So this big trader how to process clients? That the my clients present present work to clients. Clients, yes, I'm giving support. Yes, on big data and how to product this company. Yes. Okay, next. Yes, Java. On Java, yes, PayPal. PayPal is a client. PayPal is Chennai. Yes, PayPal Chennai. Okay. Yes, next. Java, next. Embedded C. Yes, Embedded C. On Embedded C. Yes, Technosoft. Technosoft. For yes, it. Take no soft These are my present clients. These are my yes. Okay. Yeah, these are my present clients. Right, okay. Yes. So this is about that's all about myself. Yes, enough, I think. Okay. Just you can check in Google the about default, about PayPal, about Techno Soft Corp. Next about Silatech, you can check all this. Okay, right? Yes. So that's all about myself. Now let us come to our course here. Yes, Unix and Linux. Our course is Unix and Linux. Unix and Linux. Yes, we are going to discuss both here. Unix and Linux operations. Okay. Now here, what are the course contents? What are the course contents of this Unix and Linux here? First, before going to that, Actual Linux wise here will be discussing about software basics. Software basics. Initially, software basics. After finishing all these software basics, next Unix and Linux. Unix and Linux basics. Unix Linux basics. After finishing that basics here, next Linux installation. How to install Linux base? Yes, Linux installation. Yes, Linux is nowadays most popular. Yes, if you have the Linux experience, you can work with any ways. Linux is more than Unix ways. Linux installation. So next is Linux installation. After finishing Linux installation, next. Yes, Linux file system. Linux. Yes, Linux file system. Linux file system. After finishing Linux file system, next user level commands. Yes, next is about user level comments. Okay. Yes, these five topics will be taken for 15 days. So this is for 15 days. These five topics, up to five topics, 15 days. Yes, after this, next sixth topic is self scripting. Self scripting. Self scripting. Yes, this will be taken for 10 days. Self scripting is a 10 days topic here. Yes, after self scripting here. Yes, next. Next topic is self scripting after which next admin comments. Admin. Yes, admin level comments. Administration, Linux administration. Linux admin comments. Yes, Linux. Linux admin comments. Yes, our course including administration. Yes, Linux admin comments. Right, okay. Linux admin comments. This is. Uh, Yes, another almost uh, yes, uh, 12 days will be taken here. Yes, next after this, finally, projects. Yes, project explanation here. Projects. Okay, project just a matter of three hours. The project explanation here. Yes, next. Finally, interview questions. Interview questions. Interview questions finally here. Yes, what are the questions facing in real time here? That entry questions. Right, okay, so this is complete topics which are covering our syllabus. Okay, right? Yes, to finish the syllabus here, 30 to 35 days. 30 to 35 days. Okay. Yes, suppose maybe extending maximum five days, maybe extend not more than that. Maximum 30 to 35 days. So yes, max is 35 days, not more than that. Within 35 days, I'll finish it. Yes, Monday to yes, Monday to Saturday class. Monday to Saturday. Next every day, every day recording. Yes, every recordings will be uploaded. Will be uploaded. Uploaded into Google Drive. Yes, uploaded after finishing. Yes. Yes, after finishing your class, 
So what are the recordings? All the recordings. Every day we'll upload in Google Drive. Yes, next day you can watch it. Okay, you can watch it. Yes, validity for one year. Validity for one year. One year we can watch it. That videos you can watch for one year. One year validity I will be here. Okay. Yes, that year will be given you. Yes, using that the with that year you can access videos. Every day you are any number of times you can watch it. There is no limit on this. Any number of times, repeatedly you can you can watch it. Suppose sometimes if you missing class due to some reasons yet, you can watch that year. Yes, you can watch that videos. Next day you can watch videos. Right? Okay. So this is about syllabus and all these things. Next about software, I will provide the software. Linux software, I will provide. I will tell you how to install Linux base and all these things. Okay, right? Yes, next. For all these things here, I have prepared documents. Well prepared document available. Yes, no need of writing running notes. It's not necessary here. Try to understand class. Okay, so this is around 125 page document. So around 125 page document here. Yes, let me show that document. 125 page document. Yes, this is a command space expand here. Very clear expand here. Okay. Yes, it's a point space expand here. Yes, very easy to understand. Yes, uh, this document prepared in interview point of view here. Yes, with my experience prepared all these documents. So this is a yes, 125 page document. I'll send you this document. Okay, this whole document, including entry questions and project work. And everything prepared here, every command. Yes, each and every command, how this command is working here. Okay, each and every command, very clear explain documents here. Comments here, comments started here. Here, comments started. User level comments started here. This is so user level comments, admin comments, and shell scripting. Yes, in depth, this is so. This is a coverage of topics here. Yes, for whom this course? Next question. For whom this course? For whom this course? Okay. Particularly, who are trying for the Linux admin? Yes. For Linux admin, guys, very useful. This is Linux admins who are trying for the Linux admin job. For them, very useful course. Okay. Right. Next, Hadoop. Hadoop. Yes, admins and developers. Hadoop admins and developers. For them very useful course yes next apart from this next who are learning aws and devops who are working also aws and devops this area of okay, aws and devops yes this area very suitable this course so this is completely infrastructure management here linux admins for departments and developers next aws and devops okay yes next after this db guys database administrators db guys for the months for the months very suitable course db guys they must have the admin commands knowledge and shell scripting knowledge so for them also very suitable course right okay next apart from this testers yes we are working testing area for them also very suitable but for testers in depth of linux knowledge is not required here yes at least yes 50 percent of our syllabus Yes, 50 percent of knowledge. Sir. Yes, 50 percent of our service is enough here. Not more than that. Linux. Yes, testers less concepts. Much in depth is not required. Okay, right? Yes, in depth for who means for Hadoop admins in depth required. Hadoop developers in depth is not necessary here. Just 60 percent of service is enough here. 60 percent of our service is enough for the Hadoop developers. Yes, AWS DevOps for this case in depth required. Not like Linux admin. Linux admin 100% in depth required here, but AWS DevOps 100% not required. Here. Just at least 80% reaching or 70% reaching okay here. 70 or 80% reaching okay here. Yes, Hadoop admins are 70 or 80%. But Linux admins must have very in depth knowledge here. 100% they should have this. Next, DBS 80% of Linux knowledge. Testers just matter of 50% enough here. Okay, yes. Our syllabus in our syllabus is 50 percent of syllabus enough for the testers here. Right, okay. Next, other developers like Python developers. Yes, Python projects developing on this Linux base. In real time Python projects always in Linux base. Not 
Windows, nobody will use Windows here. Python and Java projects. Okay, Java projects are yes. In production environment, Java projects are running on this uh, Linux OS. Yes, the support team. Suppose any working support team, they must have Linux knowledge. Okay, so Python and Java, these guys, yes, uh, much knowledge not required here. Just 40% of our syllabus is enough for this case. 40% of our syllabus. Okay, next half for this. Next data science. Data science. This is somewhat related to how do you area. Okay, data science. Data science. Like uh, machine learning, artificial intelligence. For them, this is very suitable. Yes, even data science projects are running Linux ways. So supporting is all the supporting is required Linux ways. Yes, nowadays Linux has become mandatory for every software function here. For all the software resources, it has become mandatory here because of its features. The topic we'll discuss. Right, okay. So for this case, this Linux power course is suitable for all these cases. Yes, in depth of Linux ways I'm covering. So after finishing course, yes, after finishing course, you can write the certification here. Ready hand certified engineer. You can write this certification here. After finishing course. You can finish your certification here. Yes, 95 percentage you can score it. Yes, 95 percentage you can score it here. That is my experience. Yes, ready hat certified engineer. You can become ready hat certified engineer. 95 percentage you can score it. Okay, next. Next, one more here. Three to four years of experience you can put up here. Three to four years of experience you can put up. Yes, my 22 years of experience I'm utilizing for you. See here, explaining the technology difference. Yes, experience is different here. Yes, it's a transfer of my experience. Yes, anyone, anyone they will explain the technology. Technology you can get from anywhere. Maybe from any site, you can get the Linux commands. But where to use that Linux commands? That experience is very important. Yes, I'm transferring my experience here. Yes, every command. Yes, what are real-time scenarios? That real-time scenarios we will discuss. Completely real time oriented here. Every command real time scenario is what I worked with. Same that scenario I'll explain here. So, completely experience based here. Yes, our course and my way, way of teaching and everything is all, all are experienced. Right, okay. So, this is about this, right? Next, some doubt here. What is prerequisite? What is prerequisite to learn Linux ways? Maybe this is one more doubt. What is prerequisite to learn Linux? Nothing required. Yes, no prerequisite. Nothing required. No prerequisite for this. Okay. Yes, because it's a voice. Voice. Nothing required. Like something like C programming or something. Nothing required. Just little bit about Windows voice knowledge and after. Little bit about bit about Windows voice. Not more than that. Okay. Right? Yes, even non-IT. Non-IT background. Yes, non-IT background. They also can understand this. Non-IT background person also can understand our syllabus. Very simple this is. Okay. Yes. I'll make it very easy. Yes. I'll start from basics. From there, I will take to a high end. Yes. High end. Yes. Starting starting from basics. Then I can make you up. Yes. Four years experience case here. I can make it expert. Four years expert case here. I can make it up to that. All right. Okay. Yes. So my 28 years of experience, what are I worked here? Everything I'm present here. I will try to deliver maximum. Right, okay. In these 35 days, I will try maximum. I will try to deliver. Okay, right. So that's all about this. Okay. It's about myself. Next, course contents. Okay, next, course duration. For whom this course? Okay, next, how much experience you can put up? Who can learn this one here? Anyone can learn this. Is. You can start your career with Linux ways. Linux career, very good career. It's a long career. Okay, for next 20 to 30 years, no doubt on Linux ways. Because nowadays everything is Linux ways. Yes, all the production servers are running in Linux ways. Yes, cloud computing, always using Linux ways. That's the reason Linux got most demand in market here. Yes, you can you can move to Linux infrastructure area. Right, okay. Yes, any doubts for today? Yes, this topic. Yes, not a completed today topic. Yes, till now, any doubts? Till now, any doubts? Just tell me. Otherwise, I'll move to actual topic. I'll move to introduction. Any doubts you want to clarify? Yes, any doubts you want to clarify regarding course contents? 
prerequisite, next line next feature, and all this. You go to clarify. You don't have the doubts. I'll be moving to actual topic. Okay, yes, sir. Yes. yes, chat box. Your chat box is there. You can ping in chat box. No, no doubt, to... sir. No doubt, sir. Yeah, if unable to speak due to some reasons. Yeah, there are many reasons to unable to speak, right? So that case you can ping in chat box. Your chat box is there. Yes, in your chat box, you can ping it. Okay, right? Yeah. So let us continue. Yes. Yeah. And starting from very basics. Just starting from very basics. Okay, who don't have the IT knowledge or they can understand. Starting from basics, next I will take you high end. Okay, let us start from basics. So first of all, yes, computer, computerware. First of all, computerware. Computerware. There are two categories in computerware. Yes, this is of course well known for you. Yes, hardware. Next second one, software. Hardware and software. Yes, this is well known for you. Yes, yes, I am coming from very basics. Even non IT background also should understand this. Okay, right? Yes, hardware. Yes, what is hardware? Yes, hardware. These are physical components. These are physical components of a computer. These are physical components. These are physical components of a computer. Like keyboard, motherboard, next mouse. Okay, next processor. Processor, next hard disk, next RAM memory. Yes, all this. Okay, all these are hardware components, right? We can touch all these parts. Yes, we can touch all these parts. So this is hardware, right? So this is not our part here. Our part is software. So let us move to software. Yes, we are software engineers. So let us move to software. So what is software? Yes, let us see what is software. In software, yes, everything, everything is a program. In software, everything is a program. Yes, all are programs. Yes, software, everything is program. Yes, it's a collection of programs. It is a yes collection. It's a collection of programs. It's a collection of programs. Yes, in software, everything is program. It's a collection of programs. Like C program. Yes, maybe C plus plus. Maybe Java. Yes, maybe Python program. Yes, Python. Python. Yes, maybe HTML. Yes, maybe SQL programs, something like this. All our program. Software, it's a collection of programs. Right, okay. Yes, yes, our part is software. We are software engineers. Our part is software. Yes, here everything is program. It's a collection of programs like C, C, Java, Python, HTML, and SQL like this. Right, okay. Yes, in software, basically two categories. First one, system software. First one system software. Next, second one application software. System software. Next is application software. System software. Next is application software. System software. Next application software. Yes, Linux comes under system software. Yes, what is system software? See, system software. System software is to interact with hardware components. Yes, software basically two categories system software and application software okay system software system software this is to interact with hardware com components here yes system software always yes interacts it interacts with it interacts with the hardware components interact with hardware components interacting with hardware components interact with the hardware components okay yes interacts with the hardware components system software interacts with hardware components okay right Yes, for this example, for this example, device, device, drivers, and operating systems, device, drivers, and operating, yes, operating systems comes under this category here. Device, drivers, and operating systems. Device, drivers, and operating systems comes under this category here. Right, okay. 
Yes, what is the waste driver? What is waste? Linux comes under waste, right? Yes, before going to this part here, let us see something about application software. Yeah, the applications of this is not our part. Yes, application software like Java, like Java, .NET, C, C++, Hadoop, all the things comes on application software. What is application software? Application software. Yeah, this is for the purpose of application developments. This is for the purpose of application, some apps, some application developments, some application development. Yes, application development. Right, okay. Yes, application. What is app? Yes, app. Yes, every day we are working with many applications, right? Daily working with many applications. Like Facebook, it's an application. Okay, Gmail, it's an application. Yes, Google, search engine, it's an application. Okay, next, WhatsApp. WhatsApp is an application. WhatsApp is an application. Next, maybe Amazon. Yes, yes, Amazon, Amazon, yes, online shopping, next, Flipkart, next, Durga website, all the applications, right? How to develop these applications here? To develop such kind of, these all are web applications working in the internet, right? Yes, any application working in the internet called as web applications. Yes, all the web applications, Gmail, Google, Facebook, WhatsApp, yes, Amazon, Yes, Flipkart, banking system, all the applications working on the internet. Those are the called web applications. How to develop this kind of web applications here? Web applications. Yes, to develop this web applications here, to develop that kind of web applications here, we need some application softwares like Java, okay, maybe C language, maybe C++, maybe HTML, yes, maybe Python, okay, Python. Yes, maybe some cases using yes databases, databases so different some requirements here. Some cases using HTML here, some cases Java, some cases Python, some cases databases like this. Okay, so different different application software is using right. So application software, yes, application software. These are for the purpose of application development. Application different kind of web applications like Facebook, Gmail, Google, WhatsApp, something like this. To develop this kind of application in some softwares, those are called as application softwares. Yes, so Java, HTML, Python, yes, these all this may be Hadoop, yes, Hadoop, yes, all these comes under application softwares. Actually, this is not our part, just introduction. This is application software introduction here. Yes, our part is system software. See, software, software, system software, next application software. System software is to interact with the hardware components, device, device, and operating systems. Yes, Linux is a OS, right? Operating system. So Linux comes under system software. Next, application software for the purpose of application development. Okay, fine. Now, system software as our part is system software. Yes, first let us see device driver. Yes, what is device driver? Yes, let me give just some introduction about device driver. Actual topic we'll discuss in Linux base. Linux device drivers, how these are working here. What is exactly device driver? I'll explain very clearly with Linux base. So before that, let me give some introduction about device driver. So what is device driver? See, to run any device, compulsory driver requires. Without driver, devices do not work. For example, here there's a printer. To run the printer, driver required. Without print driver, printer will not work. Suppose scanner. Scanner for scanning machine, scanner driver requests. Suppose fax machine, some driver requests. Suppose your system connect to TV for this driver required, right? See, there are internal drivers and external drivers. Yes, internal drivers like keyboards. Yes, has its own driver. Keyboard driver, mouse driver. These are part of system, right? Motherboards, RAM, all the hardware components, right? These come every hardware is a driver. These are part of system, right? The internal components for that internal drivers. It's a part of OS. Built in with OS here. Keyboard driver, mouse driver, motherboard driver, hard disk driver, all are part of operating system. Those are in internal drivers. Next, it's a part of OS, right? Next, external drivers. Yes, external. Yes, 
external devices here printer is external device scanner fax tv all the external devices connect in your system right external devices for external devices we have to install driver is not a part of us we have to install it from where we can get the drivers here that hardware vendors yes hardware yes hardware manufacturer vendor or manufacturer both are same here yes hardware manufacturer will provide the driver okay suppose any new device release the market here any new device release the market here that hardware man for the device manufacturer yes will give one cd if that cd contains device manual under device manual under driver so take the driver and you can use the device just you take the driver yes from the cd copy into your yes your ways install it once install this is setup file just run the setup file get the driver get installed here once driver installed you can use that device right okay so these are actually these are programs yes almost all drivers almost all drivers for developing c language almost all drivers developed in c language I mean, these are the c programs embedded c yes embedded c comes from this category here embedded c yes these are the c programs so what is device driver simple answer device driver just is a one kind of program but device driver yes it is a program device driver just it's a program device driver is a program yes to communicate to communicate with the hardware components device driver just it's a program it's a program to communicate with yes with the hardware components hardware components hardware components right so this is just one kind of program to communicate with hardware components it's a program it just it's a program yes in software everything is program right driver is a software right software program kind of program in software it's a program so device driver it's a program to communicate with hardware components okay so for every device there is a driver here yes every yes every device yes every device has its own driver has its own driver right okay has its own own driver yes every device has its own driver so without drivers devices cannot work to run the devices driver requires to run the devices driver requires without driver devices will not work here without driver devices won't work yes okay yes now these drivers we can get from the hardware manufacturers that hardware vendors right okay so this is about device driver right okay yes next ways what is ways operating system let us see about ways so what is ways yes this is actually our parts okay yes entering into ways parts yes exactly what is ways just for this here some question for you some question can we run any program can we run any program without ways can we run any program without ways say yes or no this is my question my question is can we run any program without ways say yes or no yes you can ping in chat box can we run any program without ways just ping me reply in chat box yes if unable to speak due to your is that personal environment yes you can ping me here can we run any program without ways no answer is no for this answer is no we can't run answer is no yes hans is no we can't hans is no here okay so we can't run compulsory ways request without ways we can't do anything in your system yes without ways we can't do anything here see let me show that how ways is working let me take new documents see suppose laptop your laptop 
so first purchasing laptop right yes hardware this is a hardware right after purchasing laptop what is next up we should install operating system right we should install operating system so we should install operating system yes after installing operating system what is next up suppose learning c language then you have to install c software suppose learning hadoop then hadoop you have to install suppose learning java java so about database working the database some database has to install okay suppose working with python python has to install right okay suppose c plus c plus s right okay so here without ways we can't yes this is a system no ways no system here first the hardware after procuring hardware next what you have to install ways after installing ways now your system is ready see this is your system like this it's a ways right ways is ready ways is ready right yes once ways is ready on top of ways now we should install c software or hadoop software java software so what are the software you want that you have to install here yes all these softwares are yes application software right these are application softwares all these are application software yes application software yes all your application software okay so all the application software running on top of os right yes maybe c program yes maybe c plus program okay maybe hadoop program maybe java maybe database maybe python yes even ms office also even to run ms office also os requires without os this programs will not run here yes all the programs all these programs running on top of os right so os is giving platform os is giving platform to your program right okay so on top of os all are running right okay simply we can say what is os here what is os simply we can say is a platform so os is a platform it is a platform simple answer what is os os it's a platform it's a platform yes where where we can run where we can run all application software all application software all application software all application software yes application software could be java or c or c plus or something like this okay it's a platform so ways is acting like a platform so ways it's a platform where we can run it's a platform where we can run all application software right okay not only platform here suppose for example here c program generates some outputs that output first of all transfer to ways and then transfer to output device right okay yes here suppose hadoop program java program so java program generating output how that transfer to output device through the ways through the ways here so every program yes every program output first of all goes to ways okay ways to output device right yes output to. so first of all any program output any program output that application software program output goes to ways okay from there yes from there transfer to output device then transfer to output device right so first maybe java program yes maybe java program maybe c program maybe sql program maybe python program maybe yes hadoop program what are these so first of all output goes to ways ways to output device right so for reading from the keyboard for example here reading from the keyboard so first keyboard data input data goes to ways right ways and from there transfer to our application software maybe c program or java or something like this right okay yes see here application software so application software directly never communicates application software directly never communicates with hardware yes no no it cannot communicate directly here application software directly cannot communicate with hardware here there is no direct communication yes between application software and hardware there is a ways there is a ways right so like a mediator exactly you can see the interface working like interface so this is working like interface so ways is interface between application software and hardware components so next point yes it is an interface yes it is it is an interface yes it is an interface it is an interface between it is an interface between application software yes application software and hardware components right application software and hardware components it is an interface next point yes ways is an interface interface between these two layers hardware layer 
and application software. So everything is communicating through the voice. Okay, without voice, it won't work. Your application software, application software never communicating with hardware directly here. There is no direct communication between application software programs and the hardware. There is a voice. So like interface, it's acting an interface between application software and hardware components, right? Next, here, yes, OS is performing some input output operation, right? OS is performing some input output operations. To perform this input output operations here, every OS has its own input output library. Yes, every OS has its own input output library here. To perform IO operations, to perform IO operations between application software and hardware components. Okay, so every OS, maybe Windows OS, maybe Linux OS, Windows OS, Linux OS, or Unix OS, take any OS. Every OS has its own input output library, has its own input output library to perform IO operations between application software and hardware components. All right, okay. So every operating system, yes, every OS has, yes, has its own, Yes, it's one libraries. Okay. Yes, it's one. It's one library. Yes, it's one libraries. It's one library to communicate between application software and hardware components. Right. Okay. So this is just the basic idea about ways. Here. Okay. So what is ways? Ways is a platform where we can run all the application softwares. Next, it's an interface between application software and hardware components. Next, every OS has its own library to communicate between application software and hardware components. So this is about OS. Here, okay. See, one second. Let me review documents. So this is actually our document here, class documents. Yes, see, in document I have prepared everything here. So what are things explain notepad here? See, in notepad, explain many concepts, right? All these concepts. What are we discussed in notepad? These concepts. Okay, from the beginning, yes, about software, about system software, application software, yes, about device driver, about operating system. So, till now, what I've discussed, yes, everything is prepared in documents here. This notepad, explanation, next word documents, explanation, yes, all these concepts I have prepared very clearly. Just you can follow this document here. Yes, no need of writing notes. Notes is not necessary, just you follow this document simply here. That's it here. See this. Here today topic basics of software, right? First is software. It's a collection of programs such as C, C++, Java, SQL, and other programs. Software basically two categories like system software, application software. Okay, right? System software. Yes, our part. Linux comes on system software. Yes, what is application software? This is not our part. Application software is not our part here. What is application software? This is for the purpose of application development. Just application development. Okay. Web application development. Maybe Facebook application or Gmail or Google, something like this. Examples Java, C language, CFS, Hadoop, .NET, next ERP package, all these application softwares. System software, it interacts with the hardware components. Every point mentioned the document here. So you don't worry about notes here. Every point mentioned here. Okay, system software interacts with the hardware components. Example, device drivers and operating systems. Device drivers and operating systems comes under this category. So, OS, operating system, Linux is OS, right? Linux is OS. So, this is comes under system software. Okay, fine. Yes, what is device driver? Same points prepared here. So, what are we discussed? Yes, in Notepad, we discuss about device driver, right? So, what are we, do? we discuss about device driver? Same points mentioned here in document also. So device driver, these are the programs to communicate with the hardware components, right? Hardware components. Next, every device has its own driver, right? Yes, device drivers are supplied by hardware vendors. Yes, it's a document very clearly. Okay, so don't worry about notes. Next, ways. What is ways here? So what is ways? It's a platform where we can run all the application software, right? Where we can run all the application softwares. Next, it is an interface between hardware and application. Same points are discussed here. Yes, here we have discussed the points. It's a platform. Next is interface. Next, every OS has its own library. All these three points are discussed here. Okay. See this architecture. Yes. 
see it's a ways is a platform where we can run all the application softwares next it's an interface between application software and hardware components next every operating system has its own libraries to communicate between application software application software and hardware components see same thing here is there in document prepared here first hardware on top of hardware ways on top of ways application software this application software layer yes maybe c programming or c plus plus java something like this so on top of ways all are running here without ways no system yes to run the programs ways requires okay right yes see here device driver and operating system right device drivers yes system software device drivers and operating system comes under system software see device driver yes device driver simple yes device driver these are to run the devices so these are to run run devices right to run the devices driver requires next what is operating system here operating system yes operating system is to run the programs to run program ways required here to run the program right to run the program ways required so without ways you can't run the programs to run all the programs we need ways without ways no programming without ways no program yes programs will not run here to run any program compulsory ways required see here same question i asked you yes can we run any program without ways can we run any program without ways no we can't run compulsory no answer is no here yes sir no answer is no here we can't to run any program compulsory ways required so purpose of ways is to run the programs to run the programs purpose of device drivers are to run the devices that's it okay right? yes now our topic is ways topic here yes about ways already we discussed here just a basic idea about ways already discussed it. like a platform right so this is this topic already discussed next in ways basically two categories operating system basically two categories yes ways basically two categories so ways basically two categories so first one character user interface or command line interface cli cli yes character character user interface character user interface character user interface or command line interface or command yes command line interface command line interface character user interface or command line next second one ga graphical user interface ga so ga is a graphical 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 user interface graphical user interface graphical user interface that okay yes what is character interface what is graphical interface let us see here first about character user interface or cli see here it's a dos command prompt right command prompt it's a command line yes command prompt this ways is called dos ms dos microsoft disk operating system microsoft disk ways disk operating system ms dos this is called as ms dos yes character interface for this example best example is ms dos we have other examples as we will discuss next ms dos next unix also comes under this unix also character interface the linux also character interface available yes we will see next just wait this is called as character interface okay cls clear this screen so what d colon d direct that goes to d drive now here dir some output getting rich dir see this dir is directory yes all the directories the directories all the directories here for example test is a direct rich test is a directory here dir is directory okay cd test cd test change rich yes now cls clear the screen now present working location d drive test so what is test here let us see that test is a directory is a directory here see here cd means change of directory cd means change of directory change to test rich yes now let us go to gi d drive in d drive test folder see the test folder rich test is a folder same test is directory not test contents you can see the test contents d1 d2 d3 x1 x2 x3 rich there what directories d1 d2 d3 directories 
x1 x2 x3 they are directly such same thing let us check here so test open test yes see this d1 d2 d3 are what folder fetch d1 d2 d3 folders same thing here is a directory that's it here both are similar folder contains what subfolders folder contains subfolder see test is a folder right yes these are its subfolders all the subfolders suppose x is subfolder it can take again subfolders like x1 x2 like this folder contains all the subfolders directory can is what subdirectories see here test is a directory yes test is direct the directory can second directories there are called subdirectories directory can is subdirectories directory can is subdirectories i think clear right so cdx go to x directory change change of direct change here now dr see that the contents tls clear this thing here dr that contents so x1 its directory x2 directory yes inside of x x and x1 d drive test and x inside this x1 x right yes go to here g a yes yes you can see path here d drive test and x right that x contains what x1 x2 they are what folders okay so here both are similar here only difference is thermal difference here yes in character interface calling as directory yes is directory here same thing in g a calling as folder calling as folder see this is for this is g a in ga calling as for using gs mouse you can operate right ga using mouse you can operate is user friendly ga it's a user friendly using mouse you can operate this character interface not user friendly right okay next here one more question for you dr what is this dr any idea yes if you don't have idea no problem i'll explain what is exactly this dr this dr stands for what anyone can you answer this yes what is this dr any idea directory your yeah, directory yes directory yes next any others see this dr is directory okay x1 is directory x2 directory okay fine next any one what is this dr here this dr is not a directory here this dr stands for this one stands for disk information report the dr stands for disk information report dr this stands for disk information yes disk information disk information report that stands for disk information report not a directory here disk information report that means contents of disk Yes, this command, this command shows the contents of this. Just you can check Google. What is dr? Dr stand is dash command dr. Dash command dr stands for what? Disk information report. Yes, it shows the contents of this here. Disk information. Yes, about disk contents. Contents of this here. To check it here, you can use dr command. Dr stands for disk information report. Okay, right? So this is about character interface. And the graph is not so. This is character interface or command line. See, we are typing something right. Enter key. It's line right. Enter thing command line. This enter thing is called command line. Yes, exactly. What is command line? We'll discuss in line express. Okay. Enter key. Copy enter key. It's a command line. Right? That's the reason called a command line interface. CLI. Yes, in line express also we have the same concept. CLI concept is available. Command line interface or character interface. Next Linux support GA also like Windows OS Linux GA Linux GA facility available as well as command line interface both available character interface and graphical both facilities available. That okay? Yes. So OS so basically two categories character interface and graphical interface. Right okay? Yes. Same thing explain the document also. Yes OS basically two categories. Yes operating system. Yes. Character is interface. Next, the graphical is interface. Character is interface. Okay, this is yes. It command line. It's a command line interface where user issues all the commands. Yes, you must have commands knowledge. It's not user friendly. Suppose Windows is user friendly, right? User friendly. Windows is user friendly. Okay, right? Yes, GA. Yes, working with folders and files, I can write. 
so this is character interface and graph interface next in both cases there is a single interface and multi interface yes yes character interface and graphical in both cases yes again two categories character interface two categories g also two categories see in character interface in character interface single interface and multi interface in graphical also there is a single user and multi user okay yes single user yes. Again, two categories here, single user, operating system. Next, second one, multi-user, multi-user voice. So, multi-user voice, single user and multi-user voice. Okay. Yes, in both cases, both types are available here. Single user and multi-user. Character interface, single user and multi-user. Next, graphical interface, single user and multi-user. Both cases, both are available here, right? Yes. Single user voice. What is single user voice here? Single user means only one user using system resources. Only one user. Only one user using system resources. Yes, what is multi user? More than one. Multi user means so more than one. So this is multi user means yes, more than. So this is more than one. More than one. Yes, more than one. Yes, that could be. Yes, that could be two users. Or maybe three years, or tens of years. Yes, maybe hundreds of years. Yes, maybe yes, thousands of years. Thousands of years can share the system resources. Here, sharing resources. More than one user can share the system resources here. Like uh, files, maybe file sharing, data sharing, something like this. But single user ways, only one user. If the single user ways, they are outdated. No one using here. Yes, only world and days, 20 years back outdated. Yes, nowadays everything is multi user ways. Okay, multi user. Yes, many number of users can share the system resources. Yeah, this is called as yes, server ways. This is called as server ways. Yes, multi user. Server ways. It's a server. So this is server operating system. Yes, see, this supports networking here. It supports networking. Yes, since it's supporting networking here, we can transfer the files between systems. See, only one user. Yes, this is a single user. Yes, it's a single user voice. So called a standalone. So this is called a standalone operating system. This is a standalone voice. Yes, it does not support networking. Yes, it does not support. Does not support networking. Does not support networking. Okay. So this one does not support networking. Yes, if not supporting networking, how can you transfer files? We can transfer the files. For transferring files, for transferring files, networking requires. Without networking, you can't transfer the files. Okay, for transferring files, so compulsory networking requires. Without networking, we can't transfer the files, right? Networking requires. Okay, right? Yes. But single user is no networking. It does not support networking. Since it does not support networking here, we can't transfer the files. Yes, exactly what is networking, how that is working, networking. Tomorrow we'll discuss. Tomorrow topic. Okay. Yes, multi user more than one. That could be two or three or ten. Thousands of users can share the system resources. This is called a server voice. It supports networking. It works in networking. Yes, just, just one introduction about single user and multi user. Yes, more about these two things tomorrow we'll discuss. Tomorrow we'll discuss. Yes, how they are working, networking. Just is the introduction for today here. Tomorrow we'll continue. Just the first day. Yes, tomorrow we'll continue here. First day, just is a little bit introduction here. Tomorrow we'll continue all the topic here, right? Yes, any doubts for today? See, till now what I've discussed. Yes, everything is prepared in document here. Yes, so don't worry about documentation here it's all very clearly okay well prepared documents here this is around 125 page documents okay you see around 125 page documents here i'll forward you okay right next every day video is available here after finishing class we'll be uploading video you can watch tomorrow here right yes next any doubts for today any doubts for today yes monday to 
Saturday class. Monday to Saturday class. Okay, this is 30 to 35 days. Duration again. 30 to 35 days. Okay. Yes, including projects. This is including project expense. Again. Including projects. Including projects. Yes, guys. Yes, any doubts? Yes, so tomorrow exactly at 10 30. I'll start today. Five minutes, little bit late here. Yes, tomorrow. Yes, today, first day, just little bit late here. Tomorrow exactly 10 30. I'll start it. Right, okay. Sorry, not 10 30, 9 30. Tomorrow exactly at 9 30. I'll start your class. Next, any doubts? Yes, guys, any doubts? Shall we wind up for today? If no doubts, yes, I'll stop for today. Yes, we'll continue for this one tomorrow. We'll discuss about what is multi service, what is single service. Not at come, just one introduction given here. Yes, I should explain. Yes, I should explain with the architecture. With networking, I should explain tomorrow. I'll explain that. Okay. Yes. So, want any doubts for today? No doubts, right? Yes, you don't have doubts, then let us find out. Okay, right? Yeah. Thank you, guys. See you tomorrow. Yes, same time, 9 30. Okay, material. Yes, I will forward the material. Yes, I'll use the material. Yes, this is a 125 page document. 125 page document plus Linux VSL. I'll give you Linux VS next VMware software. All that I can provide you. Yes, I think it's mentioned here somewhere. Yes, yes, you will get Linux software on this document. Yes, I can send all this, everything. Okay, right? Yes, in Google Drive, it's available here. You can take from the drive. Yes, sir. Yeah, for you guys, your separate Google Drive will be there. From that drive, you can download it. Linux ways I'm providing here. Virtual box I'm providing. That is uh, install Linux ways. Next, Putty software, WinSCP. Many tools here are going to work here. All these tools I'll provide it to Google, sir, Google Drive. You can download from Google Drive. Here will be given. Okay, right? So let us wind up for today. So thank you, guys. Have a good night. See you tomorrow.